Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I have the most exciting video for you of the year. So I'm gonna share with you my whole entire luxury handbag collection today. So if you wanna know how much it has grown from last year, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, this is my favorite, favorite video to watch. I love all handbag collection videos. I did one last year, so I'm gonna link that down below if you're curious of what I showed yet last year. I'm not gonna share with you all of the contemporary designer bags that I showed with you, I shared with you last year because um, I feel like if you wanna know, you can just refer back to that video. But this time around, I wanted to share all of the new additions to my handbag collection and my current favorite luxury designer bag so let's begin I thought I would split this video into brands so I have multiples of some brands and then of some brands I just have one so I'm gonna start off with the brands that I have multiples of and the first one I wanted to start with is Chloe so I actually own two Chloe bags this is the first one that I got. This is my Chloe Annie bag. It is in the small size and in the muddy gray color with gold hardware. It has these beautiful, beautiful gold little handles and then a magnetic closure. And then you open it up and on the inside you have a long leather strap. And I feel like this bag is super, super cute and also very, very unique because I've not seen this on anyone Still not, haven't seen this on anyone. I got it for a bargain last year. I bought it at Poininger Outlet in Stuttgart and I paid, I think, a little over 450 euros and it was usually around 1,500 euros. So I made a big, big deal on that because it was scratched, but I love it nevertheless. I love the muddy gray color by Chloe. It is my favorite, favorite leather color they do. And I feel like it works really well with this bag. I feel like this is very versatile. I use it quite a lot during the summer. I haven't used it that much in the winter time but I use it um, a lot right now because I'm wearing a lot of neutral outfits and yeah I just think it always works. It's really classic and it's also very comfortable. Alrighty my second bag is my beloved Chloe Woody Toad. I love this bag so much. It is um, my favorite tote at the moment. I feel like it's the perfect beach bag, the perfect summer, like a running errands bag. And I just really like it. I think it is super beautiful and I really love the size as well. Um, it fits a lot. It fits my laptop. It fits like books if I need to go somewhere to study or if I have like a night like a day out with my girls i'm gonna chuck like a big bottle of water in here maybe like a cardigan for when it gets chilly and it's just perfect i just really love it it was um seven no 650 euros when i bought it but then shortly after it went up to 720 euros which it is currently so yeah i just really really love this bag it comes in several colors since i bought it they came out with a green color and like an orangey kind of brownish color as well so if you want like a different color um leather than this black blue color then you can check that out but i really really adore mine now off to a contemporary designer which i found to be kind of in a niche between contemporary and luxury because i feel like her pricing is kind of um really like really expensive sometimes so i'm talking about tori birch and i also own Tor two tori birch birds two Tory Burch bags okay this was a mouthful this is just like it, it was my university bag when I went to university but yeah the my university has been closed since over years so I need, didn't need to take this out but I wanted a very nice black tote because I feel like this is really classic I'm not sure if this is like the Perry tote but this is really it's kind of like a triple compartment tote so you can look on the inside it has obviously it has stuff in there and it has this middle compartment where you can fit yeah, like your laptop and 
chargers and things like that so this is really really convenient it's super nice on the shoulder it's also really good like length on my shoulder which i very much like and yeah i don't have that many black colored bags so i really really appreciate this um the chloe bag is more of like a summer multiple occasions bag and this would be the winter equivalent to that so i really really like this tory birch tote i bought it in the outlet in metzingen so i think i paid around 200 euros for this and I think these are originally like 300 or maybe 400 euros so I got a good saving and I just recommend everyone having like a black tote in their collection because I feel like it's really versatile and you can wear it all year round and you could just chuck everything in and don't worry about it so I really really like this bag and off to this little cutie so this is my Tory Burch Fleming little wallet on the chain so it has this chain with um the leather woven inside the chain and then this leather tap on the shoulder so it's really really comfortable i really like it it has this gold stud detailing and it's a um suede material it is in the color i think it was terracotta and it has beautiful gold hardware and it, it's really space spacious for a wallet on chain so i really really like it i'm not the biggest biggest fans of wallet on the chains to be honest but i wanted to have something i don't know i guess i just really love the material and the color so i wanted to have something fun and um, which also yeah it's kind of like an eye catcher if you wear it with like an all black outfit or with just like some jeans and a white blouse and some espadrilles this looks amazing and this is super super high quality i loved her birch for her quality because i feel like some of other designers could really like uh start taking an example from her quality because it's just amazing and the price is uh, honestly really justified so i have this one this one was also around 200 euros i think i bought it by a Zalando, and it was my first bag purchase of 2020 so i bought it like in january 2020 online and i haven't worn it much because obviously we went straight into lockdown and i didn't get a lot of occasions to actually wear it because for me it's more of kind of like a yeah fall winter bag and we've been in lockdown since november so <laughs> there wasn't really much time for it to shine but i'm pretty sure i will use it so much more once hopefully everything is over soon and um yeah then i will have a lot more occasions to wear it and i can't wait all right you guys know what's coming now it's my favorite favorite designer and it's louis vuitton and i obviously have the most handbags from louis vuitton so i'm going to share with you the ones that i have so starting off with uh, some smaller handbags one of them is not actually considered a handbag but i use it as a handbag so i'm gonna share with you anyway so um i'm gonna start with my mini collection of louis vuitton bags and then we go up in the sizing so i have three smaller louis vuitton bags so i'm gonna start with the bag that is not actually a bag but this is my mini pochette in a monogram i bought it last year in munich when i went with my mom for like a girl's trip and i actually just either get the chain from my felici which is just like a gold little metal chain so i either just hook this on there or i get like a little leather uh, strap or something and just hook it on there and use it as a small tiny handbag so i actually use this one as a handbag so i wanted to yeah mention it right here in my handbag collection because it's actually the purpose i'm using it for then obviously do i need to say something more um obviously it's my pochette felici you guys know how much i adore this i just love 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 this bag it's one of my favorite favorite bags in the whole entire world i'm seriously thinking of adding another one maybe in the leather um to my collection but just because i just wear this one so much and i i don't know like what it is about this but i just really like it and it fits all of my essentials it's just for me the perfect size i love to wear it i will i showed this multiple times but i will show it in every video now because in every video i get a comment like oh my gosh thank you so much that you showed this to us okay so you see how i have both hooks on this side 
and none on this side and I um, achieved that by actually threading this through this hole and hooking both on this side. So just so you know, you can make a much shorter strap with this, which is actually really convenient. So you have this option of wearing it on the shoulder like so, or doubling it up and wearing it like this. And I just think it's perfect. This is kind of like a little baguette bag and I just really like it. So I just wanted to share with you guys because I get so many like comments or even on my photos, like people saying, oh my gosh, I didn't know you could wear it like that. So I just wanted to share with you guys. I got this bag for myself for my bachelor's graduation and I paid 720 euros for this one, but I think it's more expensive now. I think like it's 780. So yeah, I got it at the beginning of 2020 and I just wore it religiously in the summer and I really like it and I've already worn it so much this year. This bag is going nowhere, uh, but hopefully it's gonna get a sister soon. And sticking with mini bags, this is uh, my Nano Speedy bag. This little cutie, I love this so much. Um, I wear it so, so, so much. This was my fall winter bag. I usually almost only wore this one. I just really like it. I love the size. I think it looks so cute with like a chunky jacket and then this little bag. I, I kind of like love the look. Probably some people don't, but I really like it. So this is just a gorgeous little bag. It has the Vachetta leather and the monogram, obviously. I got this one from all of my friends and family for my birthday last year. So for my 25th birthday, I got this one. So I'm really excited excited and yeah I I couldn't I couldn't recommend this back anymore like I love it so much so this is definitely a keeper for me all right off to my newest Louis Vuitton bag which is the Alma BB and I got it in Damir Abin and I just really like it I haven't worn it a lot because I got it at yeah kind of the end of winter and to me this is a really fall winter appropriate bag so yeah, I will definitely get this one out in the winter time, but for now it's kind of looking pretty on my shelving. Um, when I bought it, it was 1,100 euros and I think the prices have gone up ever since. So yeah, this one is just a really good staple and classic to have and I really like it. Talking about staples and classics to have, this honestly is just the epitome of a Louis Vuitton collection and I've considered selling this but I just can't. This was my first ever Louis Vuitton bag. When I got it, it was 635 euros and I got it when I was 18 years old, which is seven years, almost eight years ago. And I was working at Shell gas station and I worked so much uh, to be able to afford this bag. and. Yeah, I just, it, it holds sentimental value. I never wear it. <laughs> Honestly, I think I've worn it once in like since I done my last video, which was in April of last year. So <laughs> I only wore it once, I think, but I just, I can't. Like, I, I think this needs to be, this needs to be kind of a uh, like hand-me-down kind of handbag. This needs to be a uh, passing on from generation to generation. It honestly looks uh, almost like brand new, like nothing is wrong with it. I should probably try and clean the lock. That's probably something I should do. But other than that, I can't fault this bag. I think this is perfect. I wish I got the bandolier. I wish I listened to my mom, but I didn't. So yeah, I'm stuck with this one, but I'm not mad about it. And up to my last Louis, which is conveniently also one of my favorites. So this is my Neo Noé. I have it in a monogram with the black leather detailing. It's a very, very comfortable bag. It has like two compartments i have like a bag organized in here and another one right here all of my bags have so much crap in them <laughs> i should really clean them up clean them out but this one is just like super comfortable over the shoulder this is also the perfect fall winter bag if i don't wear my nano speedy i 
always almost always wear this one i really really like this one yeah and i bought it in september 2019 i think and i paid what did i pay like 1180 or something like that so yeah i think it has gone up quite significant significantly too um i was debating when i got it between the black leather detailing and the rose one but i'm really glad i went with the black because i feel like it's much more durable and it stands the test of time better and it's also more timeless and goes with a lot more um clothing items so i'm really glad i did that all right and this is all of my louis vuitton bags tell me down below if you think i should add a never full i'm still on the fence of uh, like I think I need a never full in my collection because uh, first of all, I think it's a, like one of the most classic bags from Louis Vuitton. I would want the uh, monogram one in the MM size, I think, or maybe I would even go for the GM size because I have so many, like I have my uh, black Tory Burch tote and I have my Chloe one, but the black one is like all year round. The Chloe one is more summer and spring and i feel like uh louis vuitton everfall would be more of kind of like a fall winter kind of tote and yeah i i don't know if i need this uh, like <laughs> tell me down below if you think i should get it because the prices just go up and up and up and i feel like i should have just gotten it like years and years ago but yeah it was never in my budget to actually go out and buy that one and then other bags had more priority in my opinion but tell me down below if you think i need it all right the next and only bag brand that i have multiples of is actually saint laurent <laughs> and I have two bags or one and a half bags because this is actually an SLG. So let's get it out of the way. So this is the um, Issa Laurent Uptown Pouch. I have it in the Eros Red. It was uh, 395 when I bought it or 300, 345 when I bought it and now it's 395. This is kind of my only pop of color in my collection. I really love this but I feel like it's very hard to wear um, because it doesn't have a shoulder strap and yeah, I don't wear it too much. I feel like it's the same as with the Tory Burch Fleming bag. I don't know where to wear it. And yeah, to me, it's kind of difficult to actually yeah, take it with me because I don't have anywhere to go where I would take a bag like this. So it's looking pretty on my shelf but i don't think i'm gonna sell this because i feel like this is a really really classic silhouette and i think i can hold on to this and i feel like it was a pretty good deal so i won't be like i i think i would lose some money if i tried to sell it and i think it would make sense so yeah i'm just gonna keep this one just for the sake of it and see like maybe if i can roll it out again if um like clubs and bars and things like that are opening up again and then now we have the bag everybody loves and this is the isa laurent blue camera bag and i actually looked up on the website i didn't look for this one but i remember like when i bought mine which is in or which was in it's also in 2019 like late 2019 maybe it was like november or something i actually don't remember because i bought this one and this one uh pretty much at the same time like just one or two months apart i don't know which one i got earlier maybe i got this one in september and this one in november i'm not exactly sure but this one was 950 euros when i got it and i just thought why not like i need a black cross body bag i only have like the the black turn birch bag other than that i don't and own any black bags but honestly i'm not the biggest um black bag kind of person so yeah i don't mind it but yeah this one is just like really really nice i did a video on it i will just link it down below i'll tell you the pros and cons and things you need to know about this bag but it smells so good but i, I think this is very classic i will never sell this this is gonna be a forever piece you can always wear cross bodies i feel like and isa laurent is also really classic i don't feel like this bag is too loud i don't feel like this trend is I like this bag is trendy or anything i just think it's classic and it's gonna like work for forever so i'm for, like i'm very glad that i bought this because i think like now it's either like 
1050 euros or even 1100 euros so yeah it went up quite significantly and then to my second designer bag purchase which is by gucci i have it stuffed so i'm gonna close it so this is my gucci my mom this is the bigger one of the two camera bags i have it in the rose color and or not in rose but the taupe color the sandy sandy taupe or whatever it's called with the age gold hardware that doesn't look so aged anymore <laughs> um i just love this bag i got it i think either in the spring of 2019 as well or maybe yeah no i think yeah or did i get it in 2018 well, I think I got it in 2018 in the springtime. I think I did. So this one is quite old, <laughs> but I love it. And I bought it for 980 euros and now it's 1,250 euros. I checked the website a couple days ago and I was shook because um, you see like so many videos of saying like this bag is out of style, this bag is overdone and things like that. but it's still on the website, it still produces, and they hike up the prices. So for me, this is kind of like an indicator that this is a classic bag. Either way, I don't care. I think um, this is like a bag, like this one. Like, how can this be overdone? Like, you know, it's just like classic. It's not, like, it doesn't really have like any bells and whistles to it. So yeah, I don't actually care. Like. I just love this bag. I think it's super beautiful. I love the color. And yeah, I just love crossbody bags. If you can't tell, almost all of my bags are crossbody bags. Um, yeah, so this is my Gucci Marmont, my one and only Gucci. I would really like to add another like um, either Gucci, like the Gucci Dionysus line. I really love that one or with the Gucci horse bit piece or yeah, something like something more uh reminiscent of the old gucci so um that would be a dream of mine definitely so i want to add another gucci yeah but this is basically i just have one more to share with you and this is also contemporary designer but i'm sharing it with you because i actually use it quite a like quite a lot and um this is kind of like maybe somewhat of a good closure because of like closing off this um, video because I don't know I feel like sometimes people are really pressured and I got this um I got this comment on one of my videos and I, I think I talked about either Tor Birch or um coach or something like that and somebody said well that's not designer like that's kind of like they didn't say like it's cheap stuff but um, it's like it's how i received that comment and i was like well you're so lucky to con to not consider that designer because it's actually really expensive and stuff like that so i just want to say with this i guess that <laughs> you don't need to feel pressured and go out and buy the most expensive stuff like as you guys can see i don't own any bag from dior from chanel from hermes um uh, from these kinds of brands i don't on any Louis Vuitton leather bags just because they're so 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 expensive I have a small like fairly small collection I would say but each of my bags didn't cost more than like a 1.2k I don't have any more expensive bags than that at least for what I paid for it so I just wanted to sh kind of share that with you because I feel like um, people might receive some videos wrong and um, feel like well, she just goes out and buys and buys and buys and also with other people um, here on YouTube and it's not that way and everybody works hard for their money and I feel like sometimes you don't even have to spend that much. For example, this one, um, this is my Michael Kors little shoulder bag and it just reminds me so much of like a way back or something from Chanel from the shape of it and I just really like it and I feel like it looks really classic you can see that it's really good quality from the leather and um, yeah you don't have to spend that much money so this was just like a small reminder that all of these things are like they don't mean anything like um, they don't make you a better person they don't um, make you I don't know like 
they don't make me they make me feel good obviously that's why i buy them but um i don't measure my worth by having designer handbags so this was kind of like a closing <laughs> Oh, I don't know if this even makes sense, but this is kind of like a closing thought of this video.